Have you ever imagined your favorite apps like Notion and Miro would have a baby? It will be called X-Tiles. X-Tiles is a brand new personal productivity app designed for creative professionals like yourself, as well as agencies. It helps you manage content calendars, notes, tasks, and you can also use it to ideate and visualize your projects and be able to move them in between, let's say a timeline of to-dos and checklists, as well as an ideation or a mood board. This new visual approach is exactly why so many people have already switched from Miro, Notion, Trello over to X-Tiles. But why is X-Tiles right for you as a creator? There are a few reasons. For example, you can organize your projects from research to ideation to production and delivery. You can also plan content, manage your team members, assign very easily, collaborate with your team, big or small. But don't just take our word for it. Right now on the screen, what I wanna do is show you all these examples and ways people are already using X-Tiles for. So for example, you can lay out your page or your workspace to represent a homepage dashboard, or perhaps a weekly planning session, a content calendar, a brand guidelines or documentations, resources, and knowledge base. You may be a creator or maybe a marketing partner for an agency, or you're maybe like me, a podcaster or a YouTuber. What I love about x -Tiles is that I'm able to create different categories of my work so that I can easily manage all of them from a single space. For example, I have my Face World blog, I have my Face World YouTube channel, I have my Face World podcast, as well as live stream. x -Tiles also seamlessly integrates with a number of apps you're already using, such as Google Apps, Slack, and coming soon is Zapier. This way, you know that you and your team can keep all your work interconnected without leaving x -Tiles. Perhaps one of my favorite aspects of x -Tiles is that you can actually share and sell the things that you design on the platform. What would that be? Templates. x -Tiles make it really easy and really turn itself into a marketplace. I love that aspect of things and helping other creators think about ways to create multiple revenue streams. Here at FaceWorld, we work with a lot of large as well as small companies and creators. What we love about X-Tiles is that instead of having to create another landing page, we can use X-Tiles pages that we have already created, being able to share them with our colleagues and clients. It's also a great way for us to reference back, duplicate the templates we love and know we use regularly, and then reuse them for future projects as well. I would like to show you on my screen how I go about interacting with X-Tiles, some of the features, so let me go back to the team space. So first of all, you have your workspace, which is the default one when you first log in, and then you can create as many uh, spaces as you want. So for us, it could be one for FaceWorld, which is our brand. We can create each one for our clients, which is really convenient. So once a space is created, you can invite team members here. As you can see, you can add new ones very easily. Now we're going to close that out. I'm going to create a new project. So to do that, click on that. You can start from scratch or you can import from Markdown or lastly use templates. So I'm just going to start one with scratch. So from here, I can name it a title. And in this case, YouTube for face world. I'm really intrigued because there's so many limitations we're working with when it comes to Notion. I'm kind of excited to really explore the combination of Miro for visualization to create resources where my team and I can find everything we need visually, um, even IDA, you know, kind of create that Pinterest like boards for our projects. And at the same time, we have these table views and timeline views too. So I'm going to click on this plus sign. I can create new page. As you can see, I can immediately access these templates. If I don't feel so inspired to have to create new ones from scratch, a new collections, you got your gallery view, you have your board view. Some of you guys, if you're using Kanban boards, if you're using Trello and Notion, you're probably already familiar with this. And you have your calendar view as well. These are the templates you can kind of, kind of jump start your process and table view here as well. And for more, there are a template gallery here. So let's take a look and see what I like. Wow. There's definitely a lot to choose from and there's something to filter. So monthly calendar, business calendar, smart goals. And here you got your marketing, marketing calendar. That is something that we do use. So yeah, this is great. Look at this. 
So I like the marketing calendar catalog for personal brands like ours. We oftentimes find ourselves having to keep track of different things, different properties of our work, like blog posts and YouTube and social media. And you can use it pre-filled or uh, you can actually just use this template without filling in anything. All right, let's just add it to the existing projects. Uh, all these are very much customizable, by the way. Uh, you can change the cover, you can reposition it if you want. It's already grouped based on category. So for example, if I need to add something like YouTube videos, and then the moment I reselect, you know, filter one out as YouTube, boom, these categories are automatically filtered. I think especially for people who don't really have a lot of experience working as producers or project managers, this will definitely jumpstart your process and help align people. Remember that people you can add as authors or different people you can search for are people who are within your team. All right, let's also take a look at all content versus current content. So immediately this is more like the Trello board you may be familiar with or Kanban board. And you have your categories um, as these cards and you can move things around very easily if you need to. What I like about this part of ideation where having a blank page is, you know, you can really use it the same way as you're using Miro. And I would say that this is the first video for X styles campaign brief is another example where you have your company logo information, but then as related to the campaign, there are different levels of details that you might want to express with both text as well as images. So in this case that you can build it out very, very easily and then change it up quickly as well. Next up, we have mood board. This is like building out a customized Pinterest board, which is really convenient. And you can resize these images as well. Last but not least, meeting notes. Now, as a project manager who has worked for some of the top Boston agencies for nearly a decade, I can say for sure that meeting notes are extremely important and the structure truly matters. What I like about using X tiles is that you can really customize the meeting templates. I love maintaining a very clean cut meeting notes template and even lend it to my colleagues as well so that we can share this vision. Furthermore, if you have watched our video at this point, you'll know that you can easily market and sell these templates as well. More importantly, I wanna learn from you and see all the possibilities you can dream of using an app like Xtiles. Please share them with me in the comments below. And if you wanna explore Xtiles, it's absolutely free to get started. I've included a link in the description below, also on the screen. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next video.